Wellington winter, it's a uh, pretty hard time of year to dive. The water gets as cold as 10 degrees, uh, the air's colder, the days are shorter, and there's just not as many fish around. Uh, the kingfish and snapper move deeper, and you don't see many bait balls or workups around. Despite this, I've really committed to spending a lot of time in the water this winter, working on my diving and spending some time exploring new ground. This video is a bit of a recap of the things I've seen and speared in the water over the last three months. The majority of my dives this winter haven't been that interesting. Lots of tarakihi, blue cod, goatfish and crayfish. So I'm not going to go into detail about all these days, but here's a quick summary. At the start of winter, we got some nice clean water on the south coast. Josh Bird and I decided to dive there a couple of different days to make the most of what we thought would be the only clean water all season. I checked one of my favourite spots on the south coast that I hadn't been able to dive for a while. It was really firing this day and I couldn't help but plug a copper mochi out of a school of blue mochi. It's the first copper mochi I've actually ever shot. different spot I found this prey hole right on the weed line. It was pretty cool to see. Later on we were looking for crays in the shallows and I saw these rather large telescope fish buzzing around. I decided to swim back to the boat and get my gun to shoot one. I 
still a small fish, but quite big for a Wellington telescope. A few weeks later, some mates and I went for a cray dive around Red Rocks. I've been talking about finding and shooting a scarpy for the last week or so. Hume and Stephen found one in a cray hole and they were just waiting for me to come over and realise there was a scarpy in there. Fuck, I didn't go. <laughs> there's, a, there's a fucking scarf here. Yeah, that's exactly normally a target species for fishermen, but I'm always really stoked to be able to shoot and eat a new species. Late June I had the craziest experience of winter. Yavor and I had headed out for a little Mark Rashore dive. I had just turned the camera on and was doing the last part of my breathe up when this humpback whale showed up right beneath me. A pretty incredible experience. Around the middle of July, I went out for a quick shore dive on the south coast to try shoot a gurnard. So I was out in the sand with a burly down on the bottom. I was swimming away from the burly just to try to keep warm, and I ran into this big bait ball of kahawai. They hung around me even after I shot one of them and eventually we drifted back onto my burley. At this point, a bunch of trevs joined the bait ball down on the bottom. There were a bunch of bigger trips at the back of the school and I wanted to shoot one but I missed my shot and that caused the bait ball to disappear just as quickly as it appeared.
Throughout August, we ended up getting clean water on both the south and the west coasts. I decided to commit some time to exploring some new areas that were on the deep side that I've been wanting to dive for a while. Over this time, I found some awesome ground that had structure I didn't even know existed. Most of these spots held good numbers of fish, so I'll be back to check them again when the water warms up. Diving these uncharted spots gives you this cool feeling of being one of the few people who've ever seen these areas. Eventually this exploring paid off, Gray and I found some bombies north of Markura. We jumped in and it was super fishy down there. Just as I reached the bottom on this dive, I saw the fish that made all the cold hard winter diving worth it. <laughs> Spearing a winter kingfish at a new spot in 13 degree water was a pretty special fish for me. 